Those who know cars and those who like cars know that this is pretty cool. It's very 90s in its speed. Yeah, look, that's, no, 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 no. it's all right, it'll go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my 1997 BMW 840ci. Now this is one of my favourite cars that I've ever owned. I actually bought it midway through last year, but it hasn't featured on the channel. This is a Grand Coupe made by BMW in the 1990s, and it's a bit of an anomaly with BMW, because when you think of them, you think of executive saloons, you think of BMW M3s, M5s, that sort of thing. You don't necessarily associate it with big Grand Tourers, heavy coupes, and it is one of my favorite BMWs because it's so unlike any other BM. It is just one of the smoothest things in the world because it's teamed to a five-speed automatic gearbox. It's not a sports car, this thing. What it is, mainly, is a bit of a wafter, a mile muncher. It's quintessentially 90s in this car as well. It's full of buttons and switches, and this was sort of the days where they decided to put everything as kind of electronic. So it's actually got a trip computer in here, which tells you your miles per gallon and your range on the car. Nothing had that back in the 90s. And it's got the one thing that you don't get in cars these days, which makes it cool, pop-up headlights. And that, for me, is just everything. I love a car with pop-up headlights. Those who know cars and those who like cars know that this is pretty cool. That's a tight corner. It's a heavy car. Jesus. Yeah, that's another thing as well. You don't want to be throwing this thing into uh, corners too much. Also, the way that Jamie's placed this camera, I can't actually see where I'm going. I bought this car for 10 grand midway through last year. It was owned by a bloke who'd had it for a few years. His mate had owned it before that. Had stacks of service history, but it had sat in his garage for the last few years. So the paint was a bit faded and it needed a bit of love. Unfortunately, obviously, I've got Big Neil, so he got the car all looked over at the workshop, got it all painted up. So, you know, brand new paint job on the car, but also gave it a really good service. So did the automatic transmission oil, did a whole engine service, so oil, spark plugs, filters, etc., and so on. And that's all that the car really needed. The fact of the matter is though, I never really had buying an 840CI on my radar, to be completely honest with you. I wanted to actually go and buy a 635 CSI, the big coupe from the 80s. I'd always loved those since I saw it on the Top Gear Cheap Coupes episode when I was about six or seven. However, I was talking to a friend of mine, James Whittam. Now, if you know your bike racing, you'll have heard of the name James Whittam. Used to race in British Superbikes, finished second in the championship in 1996. Used to race in, World Superbikes as well. We were just chatting one day idly at Cadwell and I said, oh, I'm actually going to go and have a look at a 635 CSI at some point. He's like, oh, that's nice. But what about an 840 or an 850? He's a big fan of these BMWs. He's always wanted to own one, as it turns out. So I thought I'd bring it up, get him to have a little nosy round for it. We'll go out for a little drive, find out what it's all about. And if, if the cloud clears today, maybe we'll go up to the skies as well in one of his little planes. Oh, God. I'm glad the suspension's soft as we're driving in here. I've got to be honest, I will be driving pretty slow up there in that as well. John so, Brooks. Hey up, sunshine. How are you? All right, mate. Right. You good? Welcome to Huddersfield International Airport. <laughs> security's good, isn't it? Security's good, yeah. He's, uh, he's inside, he's uh, Sprouty. That's head of security, my uh, yeah, Jack yeah. Russell. This is your fault. This is, this is James, I yeah, I, James I the BMW, slightly, this is. But was I right? Yeah. There you go. It is good, yeah. That's just a beautiful shape. It's not bad, is it? Because I wanted one. As a young man, they came out in, I think, early 90s. So that was when you were starting to kick on in bikes, right? And I just started to make a few quid, and I used to look at them and think, wow, that's what I want. And it, just a classic, for me, a classic shape. Probably. Beautiful thing. Yeah, lovely. Really beautiful. Do you want to take it for a drive? Yeah, of course I do, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's why I encourage you to come up. <laughs> How did you get into bike racing? Was it something your dad did? Or was it just... my, dad, my dad never raced, but he was into bikes, so he had me at, he had me at various race meetings, you know, we went to Transatlantic Maori Park, went to Alton Park, took me to Isle of Man in the late 70s. So there were a little bit of interesting bikes, and, we, and obviously we brought up there, we had room to have, you know, field bikes and scooters and yeah. wherever we could get our hands on. And then um, my dad's best friend was a guy called Clifford, whose son started racing when he was 17, mm. and I was 14, so I used to go watch him, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Never thought I'd have the balls or the flipping wherewithal to go and do it. And then when I got to 16, my dad says, well, I'll, I'll get you a little bike if you want. He bought me a little 125 and off I went. Once you realise you've got some aptitude for it, <laughs> then it tends to take over your life to race it. 
People think the shape of it is going to be more of a sort of uh, lean kind of sports car, but they were never. They were always going to be a yeah a Grand Tourer. Oh, so I love how like nineties everything is in here. Yeah, e everything's got a button. It, it's <laughs> nice. Yeah, you know. Yeah, this is a cracking bit of road round here. You've got it's all right. Yeah, it's not bad actually. Yeah, I love it when you come down the crest of the hill and you just greet it by that sort of patch quill of fields and stuff yeah. like that. It's so nice around yeah. here. Brakes are comically 90s, just as an FIA. Okay. Like, yeah, like they, it will stop, but you need about three calendar days. Yeah, and a lot of pressure. Yeah, if you fancy it at any point, if you whack that gear lever all the way over to the left, it was in sport mode. Oh, did it? Yeah, which it doesn't do much to sharp, it's on the throttle response a bit yeah. more. Let's it kick down. Revs it, revs it a bit more. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like all heavy cars, the initial acceleration isn't sort of mind blowing, but yeah. it, it seems to keep accelerating at the same rate. Yeah. What once it goes up through gears, you know. So getting the weight moving is difficult, but there's still power left when you have got the weight moving, you know. I was saying earlier, I don't think it's the sort of car that encourages you to drive all that. I don't think it is. You know. I don't think it is, and I actually don't think it needs to be. No. It's quite nice just driving around at like half speed, you know. Yeah. That, that, that's that's what a Grand Tourer should be. Yeah. Should be something that's easy to drive, relaxing to drive. Great thing. Not bad, is it? Great thing. The proper. You can see why. It's just, you know, Dad said to me the other day, he said, Are you going to vlog that this year? And I was like, I don't know, you know, because every time I get in and I drive it, I fall in love with it again. It's nice. You it's know. really, really nice. It's easy, easy driving, isn't it? Nice little drive out there. Yeah, it's a decent bit of road, isn't it? Yeah. He's off, look. Hey, up. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. So they filmed Grand Tour around here, didn't they? Yeah, they filmed yeah. on this runway, yeah. 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 That must have been... Uh... Did you meet him? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, 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 he's all right. I have a good mate who is friends with James May. Yeah. So that was sort of an introduction. Nice. Um, Hammond is a motorbiker anyway. Yeah. So, so he went all right. Job's good. Uh, and Clarkson did a lot of the sort of stamping about telling what people what to do and directing of it all and didn't really want to get involved with anyone else. That's fair enough, yeah. you know. They were up working, not not playing, you know. You are a witness dodo. Look at it! Well, I hope you enjoyed that, mate. That Lovely. Was... Really nice. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. yeah, great thing. Yeah, proper sort of crew. It's more... It's not a sports car, is it? It's what it is. Is it? It's a that it's a proper Grand Tourer. Proper cruiser, isn't smooth, it? yeah, quiet. Loved it. Yeah. Hey, thanks for that. That's uh, fulfilled a sort of um, a, a young man's kind of <laughs> lust after one, but I never actually got. So this this is this is part of Huddersfield International Airport. You don't get this at Heathrow or Gatwick or anything like that. This is James Whittam's private collection. What have we got here? This is a nice thing. This is a eighty-five slab side. GSXR. Is this the one you were talking about last year that mm. you bought? Yeah, that's nice. That yeah. early blade. Obviously, that I pinched number plate bought. That else. <laughs> <laughs> early blade. That's really low mileage. 1980 TZ350G. Yeah. We've got a Kawasaki W650 Scrambler. That I've I've made that out of a duty road bike. 972 TS50. My trail bike. Me Tenere, that's a YSR, that's the thing called the YSR. Yeah, man, made him at night, he's in a 50cc sort of, they were made for adults, but they were made to just be a little pit bikey type thing. I'm going to put a big engine in it. Oh, yeah. What, are you gonna, what like a 250 or something? No, a 250 two-stroke would be too much. I think that'd be dangerous. So it's going to end up with a one two five motocross engine. Oh, Cadbury's Boost Yamaha as well. I, I, it's a bit before my time, but it's still such an iconic bike, yeah, that. Weirdly, the Boost bike, if I'd have won the championship, which I lost by one point to McKenzie, I would have won the bike. That oh, was in 96. the contract. That was 96. Yeah. In 93, I'd won the championship on a YZF 750 in fast orange colours. Mm. And it was part of my contract that I got the bike. But I was trying to buy a house. Well, the easiest way were to immediately, at the end of the season when they gave me the bike that I'd won the championship on, were to sell it and buy the house. And I'm still the right thing. Yeah, yeah. This little thing, this is my uh, pre-65 Bantam, right? Yeah. But a mate of mine who we used to race with called Brian Morrison's coming down to borrow it off me. Come on, baby. <laughs>
You've got to go now. That's loud, isn't it? They should bottle that and sell it. Stick it on a candle or something. Weirdly, a lot of airfields now, and a lot of air, especially airports, it's mandatory Ibis jacket, so you've got, to, you've got to wear a vest in the back of your, you've got to have a vest in the back of your aeroplane and put it on when you walk from your aeroplane. And I get it, but here we are, it's mandatory not to. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know that the propeller, which is the thing that's moving us through the air, can take the weight of the entire aircraft. I've seen a bloke fire an airplane up, hand swing it, yeah. thing set off. And he's running behind it. <laughs> it didn't check off, but it nearly did actually. This is quite possibly the coolest thing I've ever done. Got it? Yeah. That was mega. That is one of the coolest things I think I may have genuinely ever done. I'll try and dismount gracefully. Oh. Mate, that was mega. Good, isn't it? Yeah, I enjoyed that. And to be fair, my landings are normally shitter than that. <laughs> that, was, that was. You didn't you never, tell me that before we started. You, you never quite know. <laughs> Mate, it's been mega. Thank you so no, much for today. Much appreciated. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you've enjoyed this as much as we have. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm off to have a nice cold bath to cool down, I think. Take care, see you soon.